Hello, I'm Tracy Marr and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very neat 3D text rotation effect. It's very easy to do, but first let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. This type of effect is particularly good for making intro logos, so let me show you how to do it. Okay, so as always, we're beginning in a blank presentation. So we have a new slide here. We've selected the layout to be blank. So I'm just going to pop in a background by clicking on design, format background, picture text, and I'm going to go for one of the grid backgrounds included in the Video Club Toolkit. Okay, so we have our background. Let's apply to all. And let's now add some text by going to insert, text box, and typing in some text here. So I'm going to keep it very simple. So we have our text box here. Let's enlarge the text by clicking on it so that it has a straight line around it and increasing the font here. And let's select a different font. I'm going to choose a chunky font. This works better with chunky fonts. So I'm going to go for Bebas. And I'm also going to make it white. Okay, so I'm going to make it even bigger. There we go. So the first thing we need to do is to add a 3D effect to the text. So let's do that. We have several options for accessing the format text properties in PowerPoint. If you click inside the text box between any of the letters and you right click, you get some options here to change the font size, the font, some font effects such as bold, italics and so on, centering and the format painter. You also get an option to format text effects here at the bottom. And once you click that, it opens up a sidebar here with some options. And you can see also at the top here, there are font effects. You've got a lot of options up here relating to the font. You can change the shading, you can italicize and so on, center. And we're not going to go into those now because what we want to do is we want to add a 3D effect. And for that, we need some of the options over here. So let's go right ahead and do that. Under text options, select the option for text effects. And let's work with the 3D format option here. So we're going to use the top bevel, choose the first one here. We're going to set the width to zero and we're going to push the height right up to somewhere around 40. And this will depend on how big your text is. It could be higher or lower. And we're going to use no bevel for the bottom. We're going to Leave the depth at zero and the contour at zero. For the material, we're going to choose the special effect soft edge. And for the lighting, we'll choose the two point special lighting. OK, so it doesn't look like we've made this text into 3D, but you'll see when we go to rotate it that we actually have. So let's do that now. We can now close the 3D option and we can work with the 3D rotation option. Now, the way you make the text rotate in a full 360 degree circle is to make several different slides where there's a slight rotation on each one. So the first one begins facing us as it should. And let's duplicate that. At this slide, we're going to rotate a little bit. So we're going to click on it. Then we're going to select the text options, the text effects, and we're going to rotate on the X axis just by 20 or so degrees. That's three or four clicks, depending on how fast or how accurate you want it to be, it can be more or less. But let's leave it at 20 degree jumps. So let's duplicate the slide again. Let's click on the text, click on the surrounding bar, text options again, and let's bring it up to 40 now and duplicate again. So you just continue to do this until your text has fully rotated. And I'll do one more and then I'll pause as I go through them all. It can take quite a few slides depending on the jumps and rotation that you make. So I'll be back in one moment. And here I am. I've created all of the slides and it's taken 20 slides, 19 slides to get back to the original position. So you can see in each slide I've just rotated a little bit on the X axis. So the next thing you need to do, it's very simple. You need to export as a video. So let's file, export, create a video and reduce the time spent on each slide to zero. We want this to go seamlessly and very quickly. And let's create a video. And let's just call it 
let's just put it here and call it demo 3d text and that's safe and if we play the video you can see that the text rotates so that's a very simple way of creating a full 3d rotation effect in powerpoint i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and thanks for watching